and that's it. Okay. So one thing I want to point out is that before you start this, okay, you have to go buy a you have to buy a special uh, special head or special tip in order to unscrew this. They, this one and this one and the tiny little one like this they have a special lock screw and if you don't have it you cannot open this see right there it have a special uh i think six star and a little hole little another star in the middle so you cannot open this without the special tool which is i have right here on my table And I bought this from Amazon, so 100 pieces security, and this is what they all have inside. Okay, you need that to to uh, able to take any of the RK cabinet or this little individual one. This actually will work with the. See how this hole right here, big long hole. That's for the iPad. Uh, power cable to go through. So if you was to put your iPad standing here, you know, you run your wire through here. And this old cabinet have the same thing with this. That put right here in the middle. And and but but what happened? I want to have to when I open it, I have to cut cut that piece out. And that this one in the back it looks very similar to this one. Uh, you have this little uh, thing that you pull down, and you put two two uh, two double A battery. Now I wind up soldering the model ball on in on top of this, and took took the battery uh, charging out because I didn't have any space to put this because my controller. My uh, joystick was too long and it hit uh, everything that in here didn't have space. So I went up, put it in the safe egg, this area and cut all the plastic out. Now, this is a regular. Uh, this is the one is a special that you have to have a special uh, screwdriver, a uh, special head to open this. So if you don't buy the tool that I recommend, you won't able to to use the old RK to build the uh, Raspberry Pi RK cabinet like I did here. So you have to go get uh, this. And what I did is I find out that to use this, you will need, uh, for the cabinet, you need two, two, two of them. One is this, which is three, I guess. I don't know, it's three centimeter, three millimeter. But it's it's not a three millimeter. You need a three millimeter of this one. I think it's a five star. One, two, three, four, five. And this one will help you to open this. Okay. So if you don't have that, you cannot open the wood. The wood is all put in using the this. This one, two and three in the front right here so it's three hole one two three so you need that to to uh to op to take the wood apart now the other one they don't tell you which one uh, is the it's the one eight uh, the t8 they have a six star and inside have another another hole a circle hole See right there, so this one. So it's a six star with a circle hole. It's called T8. So you need to buy one of this. Now, if you don't want to buy this whole set, then you need to buy those two, two of these tips in order to open this. And so, let me show you that it does fit on T8. So you see that hole right there with the middle thing 
pointing out. So you have to have this to put in here. And then you could unscrew it. See, I'm turning it using my hand. So you need this. If you do not have this, you won't be able to take this apart. The regular one is just a regular fill-up, but this one is not. So you need to buy this. And that is the advice that I have for you to, to, to build this. Everything is very similar. I mean simple. Not similar. Simple. It's not too bad. And you have to have a some kind of cutter to cut the plastic instead of trying to uh, I forgot to bring my little cutter it's just a little shot that cut plastic you know like wire and stuff you can use one of those and cut it and what I did is the monitor have a, a stand and I just unscrew or right here have unscrew it and then take it off and then just you know, screw it to to the wood. First, I drill a hole, and then and, and enlarge the hole a little bit so I can put any kind of you know decent size of screw size, similar to the old one, and then screw it in. So that's my tip of about building this cabinet, and that's what it looked like before I took it apart, uh, and this is what it looked like after I, I installed it. So hope that help. Uh, I cannot rebuild uh, the iCat cabinet from scratch because I already built it. But hopefully the old picture that I show you will help what it looked like inside when I took it apart. Uh, you, you just have to cut that the, the barrelly, you know, where the barrelly is, the location of the barrelly. You have to cut the barrelly and take the barrelly out. And then, and then put the put the new board, you know, and glue, hot glue it on, on, on inside on top of this. And then, then you plug all the cable in, and that should work, okay? Uh, this one, I was thinking about putting Raspberry Pi Zero, but it's not gonna work, because I don't know how to resolve, how to put this, because this, this board uh, button and this board button, a separate piece and they are not connected they are not one piece of board so I don't know how I don't know how to take that wire and plug into a USB car so I cannot I don't know how to do that I mean it was a it was a thought you know it was quite a good idea thinking about hey you know Raspberry Pi is small if you use this to build it but you know, I don't think I do it and here is the, uh, I bought, in order to get all this cable, extra cable, uh, I went and be cheaper just to buy the board with it. It's only like, I think $17 with the board. And this is what the board looked like before I put it into the, uh, the iCat cabinet. And this one is a little bit different than the one I have in here because the one have a solid, already solid, uh, the power cable, this one I have to plug it in to get the the, the USB. Uh, it doesn't come with a power jack, you just have a USB power head that you plug it in. And then there's the, the paper, like the one you saw on the video, the same thing. Okay, and then once you plug in all the 12, uh, 8, 9, 10, you know, 12, 12 button, you, you you plug all the 12 buttons in here and then uh, then you could add one two three four four more button this this here are the same as the USB five pin cable I mean five pin cable side so this two are the same address so there's no need to try to put two uh, arcade joystick when five pin is already taking out the same address as this one so you cannot put two joystick like you do with the uh, Xbox uh, handheld joystick, handheld controller. It, it will not work. So I only, only use one of this. I was thinking about adding those four button and using this cable. And I bought some smaller, smaller head. 
that actually will plug it in. I already tested it, it does work with uh, this cable. Uh, this one doesn't have LED, it only have uh, two, two wire. Uh, so it's a two, two pin uh, board, it's only blue and white. So I plugged that into this and it works just fine. I was thinking about putting adding uh, uh, one, uh, two, probably have only a space for two, and three, and four, or, or maybe uh, three and four. I, I don't know. I'm really not sure exactly where I'm going to put it because those are actual buttons I could use for uh, the, the Nintendo DS because Nintendo DS have a lot of actual buttons. Uh, you do, you could customize so the mouse and everything will work because remember Nintendo DS is uh, a two screen uh, video game uh, handheld so there's a lot of button that you, whatever you could add will help make the Nintendo DS play better this is my select and stop button so this is the two extra uh, K, K button uh, I think this is like K one two three four five six seven eight, and this is uh, uh, nine and ten. The button. All right. I hope this helped. And if you have any more any more question, please ask. Uh, I'll do my best to help. So that's all I have. And if you like more video about the RK, give me a thumb up and give me a uh, subscribe and I'll do some more if, if I need to. I was thinking about putting this uh, iPad, Apple Arcade joystick to combine with another Arcade which is a pinball and I don't, I want to use both of the blue Bluetooth. Uh, this one is the Bluetooth for iCat and the other one is Bluetooth for the, the other Arcade and they both do not share the same functionality and I wanted to use one only one joystick instead of two different ones. I'm thinking about combining them by uh, cutting the wire and make it to two two wire. So that's something I was thinking about doing in the future. But I am going to build a smaller version of Arcade. As you can see, I already have the smaller button. And I got all the buttons I need. I'm fixed to build a little small cabinet. Not as small as this, but kind of between this small one and this big one. So I could carry it around with it and play a 7 inch screen. Like the iPhone size, iPhone 6. You know. Well, iPhone 6 is a 5.5, but I'm thinking about building a 7 inch screen instead of the 10 inches, which is really big. So, that would be my next project. Alright, hope you like it. Hope this helped. Talk to you later.